time now for better food. We're gonna be learning how to make a beautiful and delicious winter dish for two. Grace Vallow of Tastefully Grace is showing us how to make chicken sausage, toasted walnuts, and fresh mozzarella cauliflower oh, rice. Doesn't that sound so good? So for people trying to cut their carbs, I know cauliflower rice is a big thing right now, and yes. I, I've subscribed, except sometimes it's just pretty bland, and I don't know what to do with it. I feel like it's usually so bland, and the, the key is just to add really flavorful ingredients that aren't super caloric. Okay, so, so that's how it comes? Yes, this that's how frozen. it comes. Or frozen. Yes, so it comes fresh or frozen. frozen. Yep. Right. Like even just the bird's eye brand makes a cauliflower rice now and you pop it in the microwave uh, in a steam bag simple. for like four minutes. And right? you, you could use that also or if you didn't yes. have the fresh. Yep, you can use fresh, frozen. They have it at Whole Foods, Stop and, you're saying, and Shop. You guys are so. saying if you use the fresh, you got to use it kind of quickly because it doesn't have a long right. shelf life. Right, maybe three to four days okay. well, that's, max that's and then it starts good. to get a little eh. Mm. All right, mm -hmm. so what are you cooking up there? All right, so here I have two chicken sausages that I took out of the casing. Okay. And then I just put it directly in the pan with a little bit of olive oil and All just right. let it saute until it cooks through. And what I like to do to make it in little bite-sized pieces is just to use the spatula or spoon that you're using and just kind of cut it up. Yep. So that it's in nice bite-sized pieces and it's good to kind of blend with something that's so fine. Yeah. Excellent. So we have that here, and then I'm gonna have you grab the olive oil again, actually, because we're gonna I need like a little bottle. more. I've seen this out. It's just a Isn't very pretty, pretty olive oil bottle. <laughs> And it's actually really it's good well, olive it's oil on your counter, too. like you want it to look nice. Because <laughs> I usually use the the California brands, but this one is actually cheaper, and I like it just as much. So, so you're it's adding a good tip. So this is some olive oil just to kind of coat the pan, just because it starts to stick. Okay. Once you're done with the sausage, okay. and then if you want to grab the onion, okay. So this is a sweet onion, a half of a sweet onion that I chopped. Okay. And I like to use sweet onion because it's not quite as like assertive and oniony. It's a little bit more mellow. Okay. Which is a good um, when you're sauteing dishes. And this is garlic, right? And this is garlic. Yep. So this is one clove of garlic. Just one clove minced. Minced. And you could do more. I love garlic, so I feel like I could add, you know, a few more. Yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna actually grab that cauliflower rice. So once okay. So if you had used the frozen one, you would have already wanted to have it defrosted. Exactly. And now we were gonna use yep. the, okay. So it's, it's basically really cauliflower stupid. just chopped up into tiny little pieces? Yeah. Is that what's going on? Exactly. You can actually make it at home in a food processor too. So you just add the cauliflower to a food processor and it- Much less expensive and easier to do. It's easy right. to do, but you just have to right. add that step. We right. lost, our, we lost oh. our heat. We lost the heat. Right. Um, that's okay. I'll keep stirring. Keep there going. There you go. Keep going. It's all right. I have a final like a... product, anyways. It's <laughs> all right. Bernie's is going to be here to fix the stove and just there a you little go. bit. <laughs> okay. So, so anyway. once you have that, then you're going to add your chicken broth, and this is going to allow the the cauliflower to really saute and cook. Oh, if there's not enough it. liquid, then it won't really cook. So you're gonna basically get it to steam and you have know, like a cup. I'm absolutely obsessed with getting this to work. Yeah. No, see now that's It doesn't all. like some fingers too, I've noticed. I've tried to press it and it, well, this it doesn't like Anyway, we've noises. added the broth and yes. imagine that it's bubbling because it yes. would be on our induction it's bubbling. oven. Bubbling. Okay, and the walnuts would be the last step? Uh, second to last. Okay. So th these are toasted walnuts. I just put uh, chopped walnuts into the oven at 350 degrees for about oh, so you toast four to your five own, minutes. You toast your own walnuts. That's pretty impressive. But, yeah. and, and even if you don't get the whole oven going, I've thrown a couple in the toaster oven for right. uh, just a couple minutes. And they, they toast pretty quickly, yeah, right? Yeah, and they, it adds more kind of like that, that toasty flavor. It's a little bit more sweet. So it adds a nice little you extra did it. Got it. Got it. I got it all. <laughs> Okay. And so, then finally, I have some fresh mozzarella here, too. Okay. Uh, which, if you don't want to add this because you want to be extra health conscious, you don't need to. No, bring it on. But to me, it's gonna you make know, you it more rich, right? You gotta live a little. This just adds a little bit more that gooey kind of um, indulgent flavor, so. So that's it, those are all the ingredients. Those are all the ingredients. And then we have this beautiful finished product. So what's all this, in, what, what are all these and other ingredients? it's such a quick course? weeknight meal. Well, look, that's just a, with the sausage, the mozzarella, and then she just put a little basil on top. Well, what's so, with the pasta, what do you oh. Yeah, so if you wanted to dress this dish up to make it more week, uh, weekend friendly, in case you wanted something more indulgent, you could add some pasta, so you could add some rigatoni, 
some pancetta or maybe some pesto and it'll just add a little bit more flavor mm, this um, is, and dress it up a bit. This is delicious, but you're saying you could you keep the cauliflower rice and just add it to just the pasta. Just add it to the pasta oh, okay. and then you have a, a weekend. All right, delicious. to see more delicious recipes and cooking tips, check out Grace's blog, tastefullygrace.com. You can also follow her on Instagram at tastefullygrace.